typically teach students how to develop mathematical modeling and computer programming, uh, how to develop those skills to apply them in resource management basically. Yeah. My research focuses on mainly on fisheries management, some recreational, some commercial uh, First Nations fisheries. Fisheries now faces a couple of fairly big challenges. We've, we've had an over-harvesting problem for quite a few decades now. So we need to somehow control that over-harvesting problem. The other issue is that a lot of fisheries have an impact on ecosystems in other ways besides harvesting. They can, they can extract bycatch that, that we don't actually eat but it happens to get wasted and uh, so, so there's a need to reduce those sorts of things as well as impacts on actual habitat, on physical habitat. My research tries to still allow harvesting. We, we need to harvest fish for food and for social and ceremonial purposes, but um, we need to harvest these things in a way that you know, we get the use we need now, but we also save things for the future as well. Everybody likes their halibut burgers and salmon burgers in the summer and <laughs> it's a really, especially in British Columbia, it's a big part of our, our culture is, is all the different types of seafood that we have. And it, it's a big part of our economy because a lot of these products are, are exported as well to pretty high value markets. So it's, it's an important thing that we can't just stop doing. So we need to find a way to, to make it work. And so I, I work a lot with the commercial fishing industries, especially because they're, they have a, one of the largest impacts, of course. So I think SFU is, is more and more becoming um, involved in the community. And, and it seems in our, our department is a, is a good example in resource and environmental management because almost all of our research and teaching is about applied issues. and they're, uh, you know, issues that we need to solve fairly quickly and so we, we have uh, you know if students are interested in uh, all kinds of aspects of environmental management whether they're social aspects or, or uh, fisheries and wildlife aspects or all those kinds of things I mean this is this is the place where they're going to be connected directly to uh, the issues that they're working on.